hello hello friends welcome to bispetraining.com my name is sumit and in this video i am going to demonstrate you how to perform the data mining on twitter data so as you know that twitter is a social networking website and in twitter we can post the tweets we can make tweets and also we can read the tweets as well which will be made by our friends or our followers so i would like to find out the total number of tweets has been done on a specific duration so and i just wanted to analyze that by using python so my requirement is i would like to visualize the data by using python so for that first of all we have to create a twitter app by going into https apps colon twitter.com and once you logged in into this apps.twitter.com you will be get an option to create a new app so for example i have already created one app named as bisp app and once i registered that app successfully i will be able to get the consumer api key consumer secret key and this access token and the access token secret so once i have got this i would be able to read the tweets from my login from my twitter id so i have got all the four keys which is required to visualize the data so the very first thing we have to do is we have to install one library that is called twp which can be done by going into command prompt and command will be pip install t w double e p y so we have to install this so i have already installed this on my system and it is stored under the library within the python folder so i have done that now i am going to write a code for reading the data reading all the tweets and stored into a file on my d drive so for doing this i start python and create a new file create a new file and here the first line will be from twipi dot streaming import stream listener the second library we required is from twipi import import o a for authentication handler so this is for authentication handler from twipi import stream for stream handling and also i need the time as well so import time then first of all i create one access token variable then i need access underscore token underscore secret this is to specify the token secret consumer underscore key and consumer underscore secret then i start a class here class std out out named as std out listener and this will be take one parameter stream stream listener in this i create one function on underscore data self comma data start a try block and i'll just write a command print data save file is equal to open and i would like to save the tweets which will be getting from the twitter i just wanted to saved into the twitter dot in the text format on my d drive and in append format so it will be read it will be creating 
uh, it will be reading and getting the data from the Twitter, all the tweets and stored into this file. Save file dot write data. Save file dot write slash n. And finally, save file dot close. Return true. Except, or oh, basically, this is for if there is an error. So it will run an exception. And the exception will be base exception, comma e. It will print the error. Print failed on data or failed on reading data comma str of e and time dot sleep for and finally i create one more function here def on underscore error if any error occurs so if on underscore error self comma status print status then we will be going to initialize the main function so name equal equal main then l is equal to instance of this class std out listener Authentication is equal to authentication handler and in this I'll be going to pass the consumer key consumer underscore key comma consumer underscore secret and uh, authentication dot set underscore access underscore token so here I'm going to pass the access token and the access token secret so I pass here access token and access token secret access token secret and finally stream is equal to stream authentication comma instance of then stream dot and also I want to apply a filter that it will read the values only from the specific languages like Salesforce, JavaScript, Python. So I just wanted to read only those values, uh, those tweets which contains the tweets related with Salesforce or JavaScript or related to Python. So I'll specify here it will track only them. So track is equal to Salesforce, JavaScript, Python. That's all. And let's save and execute it. So I'll just save it. Yes. And I give a name Twitter test one and save it. So it will take some time to connect. So you can see it has it's not connecting right now because we did not pass the access token and the security token here. So we need to pass here access token and access token secret. So what I'm doing is I'm just copying. Uh, I just copy paste my access token. So that's my access token. So I copy paste this access token in double quotes within double quotes here and make sure there will be no space between them. So it should be a complete access token and the access token secret and don't forget to change your access token secret after the demonstration otherwise if and consumer key so I just copy paste this consumer key and the consumer secret consumer AP secret or basically it is known as API secret. 
so it may take some time to connect and once it is connected it will start reading the tweets from the uh, from the twitter from your twitter profile and at the same time it will be start storing the data on my on the d drive in a twitter folder so you can see it's around 15.8 kb something so it will be running and it will take some time to execute so so i have already done the twitter and uh, you can see the total size of the file is 2.28 mb it contains lots of tweets so it's suggestible that at least you should run this command the same command you should uh, uh, execute this command let this command execute for at least one hour so that you can you can get uh, hundreds of tweets or thousands of tweets to get a proper visual to get a proper data visualization so i have done that here and now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to visualize this data visualize that data which is stored in this file in this notepad by using python so for that I'm going to create a new file, create a new Python file, and here I will be going to read the data. So you can see that's the these are the tweets. So we have got lots of tweets. So either you can let it execute for one day so that you can get a proper visualization, proper data visualization. I have so let's create it. So the first command I write here import JSON. I'm going to take help of JSON here. Import JSON import pandas as pd import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt tweets underscore data tweets underscore data underscore path is equal to d drive Twitter.txt tweets underscore data is equal to it's an array tweets underscore file is equal to open tweets underscore data underscore path and it will be in read mode so it will read the file so for line in tweets underscore file try tweet is equal to json dot loads line tweets underscore data dot append tweet except if any exception occur it will not stop it it will continue this and finally tweets is equal to pd dot data frame tweets and from here i just read the text tweets basically it would be like this text is equal to map i use the lambda expression here to filter the data tweet tweet it should be mapped with text comma tweets underscore data so I would like to get the text and the language and the country wise so that we can visualize the country record uh, we can visualize the data according to that the second will be language and third will be country and I just change this so this should be language and this should be And also in within country, I just wanted to make sure I just wanted to extract the place as well. So from which country, which place. And here I specify that 
if there is no place if there is no place or place equal to not equal to none then only it will read it else it will display it will store as none and then i just wanted to count that how many tweets are there tweets underscore length is equal to tweets i i wanted to get the language i just wanted to count the lang language you can go for country as well i want to find out that how many tweets are there for a specific language so i'm just counting it value underscore counts and finally we'll be going to place it on a bar chart so figure comma ax is equal to plt dot sub plots ax dot tick underscore parameters x is is equal to x comma label size is equal to 15 similar way i want to go for y axis as well so x is is equal to y and set the label size to 10 then i want to set the x label so ax dot set underscore x label and the label will be languages comma font size is equal to 15 and copy paste for y label x comma y label and this should be number of tweets number of tweets so i just wanted to find out the top five languages based uh, the top five languages who which has got the maximum number of tweets so languages font size 15 this is okay font size 15 and then ax dot set underscore title and i set the title as top five languages comma font size is equal to 15 comma font weight is equal to bold and finally tweets underscore by underscore language i just wanted to read only top five records comma and it will be placed on the bar chart so plot ax is equal to ax comma kind is equal to bar bar chart and the color i set as red color and plt dot show that's all so let's save and run it so i'll just save this uh, i'll just give a name to this twet -E tweet reader so you can see finally when i execute it we got a bar chart which contains top five languages and the maximum number of tweets are in english then we have in japanese and other languages as well so that's the way how we can visualize the tweets which we have received from the twitter profile so here the visualization i have done based on top five languages you can do the same thing on top five countries from where you have got the tweets and other ways as well so in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on python you can contact to us for customized training on python as well keep watching have a nice day goodbye